Hey guys, uh, it's Chuck here. Um, I know this is a little weird watching me on video, but um, I've been wanting to say some things and um, just felt like I wanted to talk to you who are a core part of our church, um, apart from a Sunday morning gathering uh, where we might have visitors and and other people there. Um, just felt like I wanted to share some things with you and so if you would bear with me for a few minutes and, and uh, as you watch this, that would, I sure would appreciate it. Um, appreciate you taking the time to, to watch this. Um, it, a lot of what I want to say is kind of stemming from uh, the message I taught this morning on Sunday, or I guess yesterday morning. It's I guess technically it's into Monday morning now. Um, maybe a little bit too far into Monday morning. Uh but it's stemming from what I talked about today, and if you haven't heard that, you can listen in. But on online, I think it's posted already. But I, I, I want to make sure you you know first off that I, I think we're in a very good place. In fact, I think we're in a great place as a church for a church plant this young. We um, are very healthy in so many ways. Um, I, I'm very very excited about it. Uh, the things, some of the things we've been able to do and accomplish, even down to our budget, um, what we've done with our money over the and this, this young as a church, is really unbelievable, and um, I'm excited about that. I think there's a lot of great things. I think uh, another great thing is just the people in our church. I mean, man, is there cool people? I genuinely like the people in our church, and um, I think you do too. Um, it's amazing who God's brought here. Um, I think we've gained a decent understanding, at least, of what community is. Uh, we understand, at least in part, of what it means to to live in a co biblical gospel community, um, where we have a decent understanding of what it means to uh, take care of one another and be the body to the body, as I've said over the last couple of years. Um, getting, I, to my knowledge, at least, there's nobody living with unmet needs where people are getting their rent paid for and uh, medical bills paid for and their car fixed. And over and over, I just hear stories on and on and on of people in community taking care of one another. Um, all that is great. But there is a little bit of a difference that I want to talk to you about today because um, although that is certainly a part of what it means to live in gospel-centered community, caring for one another. Um, that's all. That's not all that a biblical gospel community ought to do. It's one thing to understand what a community, biblical community is. It's another thing to understand what a gospel biblical community does. And it's a whole nother thing to not just know what it is and what it does, but to actually be a part of what it's doing and supposed to be doing. And that's what I want to talk to us about. I Again, I think these phrases that I've used, um, being the body to the body and being the body to the world, we, we understand that in our head. And I think that we're pretty good at being the body to the body. It's the other part that I want to keep encouraging us towards, being the body to the world. Um, I think, just being honest with you, I think we're at a very um, key fork in the road, a critical fork in the road of our church. When ministry gets to our size, um, we're gonna, we all have some personal decisions to make because we're, we're going to either get settled in and comfortable with where we're at as a church and I love our church, I love our community, I love the size of our church, all of those things. But it's not about me, and it's not about you. This is about the gospel moving outwards, and us being the body to the world as well, and having an outward gospel Jesus perspective on those that are not yet a part of all that Jesus offers us, um, and all that we have in Christ. And uh, I want to encourage you in this because I know it's hard to be bold. I know it's hard to 
uh, take like steps of faith in the relationships we have with our neighbors and our coworkers, and there's a lot at risk in those relationships um, in so many ways, and it can get more complex depending on the person. Um, but this speed bump, this kind of kind of roadblock, I think that we're, we're coming up to here. We're coming to a critical fork, a speed bump, a roadblock, whatever illustration you you want to use. It's just a critical moment where we're going to have to make a decision. We're going to go in one direction or the other. We're going to either get ingrown or we're going to continue to move the gospel outwards to those that don't know Jesus. And um, I think that all of us, um, those of you that I know, and uh, some more than others maybe, but I think that you're with me in this, that you you want to be a part of what the church of Jesus has been doing ever since Christ left this earth. And that is furthering the gospel and watching God use you. Watching God do things that you never thought possible and, and being a part of something that you know is the Spirit of God doing it. Um, and and uh, in order to do that, I really believe that we need to make sure that we are watching ourselves and that this fork in the road, that we're not just getting comfortable with ourselves and our own little communities, which is great, and it's a great part of what it means to be a part of a biblical community, but we can't stop there. We have to continue moving outwards, and so I want to encourage you um, in a couple different ways. First off, um, just know that we have a lot more visitors at our church. Every week we have more and more visitors coming. People that maybe are Christian around church for a little bit. We have some non-Christians coming. And, and so I want to encourage you, please, look, I understand there are times when we're all out of town and we do things, but please make it a priority to be there. People come to a church and they, they get a feel, yes, from the teaching, yes, from the gathering part, but more than that, from the people and the, the attitudes of the people and the love of the people and you guys, we have so many cool people in our church, and um, and I want people, visitors, to know our church, meaning the people. And so I'm going to add, just please be there whenever you can. And I know I know that you do, but I just want to encourage us in that way. And I also want to encourage you, um, as well as that, just keep continuing to invite more people into what Jesus is doing, and this we feel like the Spirit's doing in our context to keep, be more intentional, even more bold in your relationships with your, your neighbors and your co-workers, those people that aren't Christian, um, that you have been building relationships with and been investing in for quite some time. I want to take this, this time to encourage you to continue to take steps of faith in those relationships, um, to trust God in that. Um, I, I could try to put together more and more evangelistic events for our church to do. We're going to do the clinic again next year. and But but this is more than that, you guys. This is more than um, me putting on events or uh, your community group serving together. All those, we ought to be doing that. But I want to talk to you about some personal decisions that I think we all need to make individually. And that is trusting the Spirit of God to use us to further the truth about Jesus and the gospel. Um, and uh, I want to encourage you in that. Um, I don't know who it is in your life at this point um, that you've been getting to know and that you've been building trust with. But I want to encourage you to begin taking some steps of faith in that relationships. Um, I've been praying for God to do... Um, amazing things from us and through us. I've been praying for His Spirit to use you, I've been praying for you individually, um, for God to move all of us, in His Spirit to move all of us in the same direction outwardly. Um, and I want this to be a movement of God. I don't want it to be something that we manufacture or strategize about. I want God's Spirit to move all of us in a unified way outward and give us all his heart for the lost. And that's what I've been praying for in our church. And I, and I want to encourage you in that. I want you to know that I've been praying for you. And I want, I want to encourage you to begin praying in that same direction. 
for God to do it, for God to give you personally some boldness, for you to take some steps of faith in the relationships that you have been given and that you've invested in to invite people over for dinner and to, to be more bold than you have been with your faith. Maybe not in confrontational ways, but, but, but maybe be more vocal about what it is you believe. Maybe, maybe take some steps of faith and take advantage of the format that we have of our community gatherings on a weekly basis and invite some of those people into your community gathering, into that format that we have. It's such a natural way over a meal to get to know some just great people who love, happen to love Jesus. Uh, take advantage of that. Take, take some steps of faith in that. Maybe you want to invite, take another step and invite them to a Sunday morning as well. I don't know what it is uh, that you need to do, but I want to encourage you to keep being more bold with your faith. Um, if you're a mom, take advantage of the, the mom's kind of gathering, the play date that happens a couple times a month at the church building. Um, it's a great way, especially during the winter months. There's not a lot of things to do. Just take steps of faith in these relationships. Invite them to things that are just so natural and normal and non-threatening um, to be a part of. Um, you, you have relationships with people. And if you don't, then let this be an encouragement to you that you need to. We, we are at this fork in the road, you guys. And I really believe that uh, you, you agree with me, and a lot of, a lot of you do, that you don't want to end up in a place um, that's just all about us. That's You know that that's not what Jesus wants. You know that Jesus wants them to have his truth move outwards. And I believe that a lot of you are with me, that you, you actually believe the gospel. You believe, not just in your head, but you believe it in your life, and you want other people to know that. And so I want to just encourage you to keep moving outwards. Ask the Spirit of God to move you in that direction. I've been praying for our church and that, that He would unifyingly move. Unifyingly is not a, a word, by the way. Um, it's really, really late. Um, but just in a unified way, move us out. And um, I, I just want to encourage you in that. Um, please, please pray that uh, we don't become ingrown. We don't grow in our faith by becoming ingrown and focusing on ourselves. We, we don't grow that way. Discipleship and evangelism is not different things. It's all in the same. Uh, Jesus discipled his people by moving outwards. He says, I'm moving out. You come with me. The apostles did the same thing. They grew by focusing outwards. And I'm praying that we would continue to grow in the same ways. That we would trust in the Spirit of God and in the boldness that He could give us. And we continue and intentionally move forward in some of these relationships that we have with our coworkers or neighbors or whatever it is. Um, so thanks for listening to this. I know it's a little bit awkward on video. Just for time's sake, I thought that I would, I would do it this way. Uh, you can watch it on your own timing. But uh, just know again, um, I, I've been praying for our church. And uh, I've been praying that we go in the right direction on this fork in the road. I really believe it's a critical point in our church. And so I'm asking you to please make the personal decision to pray for boldness. And to pray that you'd be, we would all be aligned with the Spirit of God and the people that have gone before us in faith to move forward this gospel message to those that don't know it and uh, that don't yet trust in Jesus and are not yet a part of our church. Um, I'm excited about what we've been doing and what God has done in our church. But if I'm honest with you, I'm, I'm more excited about what I believe He is going to do. And, um, and I'm praying for you in that, uh, to, to join with me in moving this gospel message outwards. And so, anyways, thanks again for listening. Um, I know this is a long video, it's almost 15 minutes, but um, and I'm tired, um, but uh, I love you guys, I pray for you, and uh, I look forward to 
uh, continuing to live life with you in faith. Love you guys. Bye.